Hello, I'm Alid Lyshen and I'm Head of Send at Glynn School. Welcome to the first of several videos uh, regarding special education needs and disabilities. Send underwent massive changes in 2014 and a new code of practice was written. This placed the child with Send and their family at the heart of the process. The main guiding principles of the Send code of practice were as follows. Greater choice and control for young people and parents over support. Collaboration between education, health and social care services. High quality provision to meet the needs of children and young people with SEN. A focus on inclusive practice and removing barriers to learning. And finally, the successful preparation for adulthood, including independent living and employment. There are four category areas of SEND, namely physical and sensory, communication and interaction, cognition and learning, and social, emotional and mental health. Each child will be given a SEND code. An N code means they don't need any SEN, they, they don't have any SEN needs. A K code means they have SEN support, and an E code means they're in receipt of an education and health and care plan. This section is to do with high quality teaching and targeted intervention. All K and E coded students are placed on the SEND register and receive additional support. K coded students generally receive the majority of their support through quality first teaching. Quality first teaching is high quality teaching which is differentiated for individual pupils and is the first step in responding to pupils who have SEND. Students may also receive targeted provision such as support from a learning support assistant or further intervention such as touch typing or lecture. The targeted intervention is done in consultation with the parent and child via the SENCO. The intervention um, measures expected impact on progress, development of behaviour and has a clear date for review. The class or subject teacher should remain responsible for working with a child on a daily basis. Another key theme from the SEN code of practice is the graduated approach. The graduated approach is where a pupil is identified as having SEN. Schools should take action to remove barriers to learning and put effective special educational provision in place. This SEN support should take the form of a four-part cycle through which earlier decisions and actions are visited refined and revised, with a growing understanding of the pupil's needs and of what supports the pupil in making good progress and securing good outcomes. This is known as the graduated approach. It draws on more detailed approaches, more frequent review and more specialised expertise in successive cycles in order to match interventions to the SEN of children and young people. The roles and responsibilities of a school and the SEND code of practice. The SEND code of practice means different ways of working and a stronger focus on improving outcomes for children and young people and support for them and their families. This is achieved by increased collaboration with parents and agencies, understanding that all teachers are teachers of children with SEN, a single category of SEN support, i.e. the graduated response, the identification, assessment and monitoring of these interventions and preparing young people for adulthood. I'd like to share two websites that have a plethora of content and resources that help aid teachers in the planning and delivery of lessons to SEND students. The first is the SEND Gateway, which is hosted by the National Association of SEN, and the second is the SEND Hub, which has an increasing number of resources. Additionally, SEND have a folder within staff links on the team drive. This has links to the SEND register, the one-page profile of every student on the SEND register and various other resources to aid the teaching and learning of SEND students. Our primary objective at Glynn School is to ensure that students on the SEND register achieve results in line with their peers not on the SEND register.